Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and I'm incredibly excited to say that this video begins our journey into the Shadowlands. This is the start of our full leveling playthrough from level 50 to level 60. As always on this channel, we'll be reading all of the quests and all the lore objects that we find along the way. We'll be taking time to thoroughly explore the zones, we'll be getting up close and personal with new enemy models and new NPC models, listening to the music, and really I just want us to get as immersed as we can into the world and the story of the Shadowlands. We'll be playing on a paladin for this playthrough, and as for what covenant we'll go with, I really want that to be something that we decide over time, after being in each zone and ha having the characters around that are going to become our soulbinds and getting to know them, playing around with the class ability that we'll get, uh, we'll decide that over time. But I hope you guys are as excited for the Shadowlands as I am, and with nothing else to say, let's go ahead and let's get right into it, shall we? Shadowlands, a chilling summons. The time has come, Paladin. Highlord Bolvar Fordragon requests your presence atop Ice Crown Citadel. Meet me in Ogrimmar, and I will take you to him. I would not keep him waiting. Champion, the veil between our world and the Shadowlands has been sundered. The Ebon Blade stands ready. I await you in Ogrimmar. Come, before the icy grasp of death claims all of Azeroth. Acarus, the stronghold of the Ebon Blade, has moved to Ice Crown Citadel. My Death Gate will take us there. High Lord Bolvar Fordragon has recovered from his battle with Sylvanas Windrunner. He awaits us, along with our allies. Before her minions abducted key leaders, the Banshee Queen attacked Ice Crown. She cut a path to the Frozen Throne and seized the Helm of Domination. Look to the sky and you will see the results of her actions. I have never beheld anything like this. But shattering the helm also freed Bolvar Fordragon from the burden of being the Lich King. Bolvar believes he knows where the Banshee has taken those she abducted. He awaits you at the Frozen Throne. The leaders of the Alliance and Horde have gathered with him. The peace remains tenuous. These are troubled times. Our people need stability. Alliance and Horde alike. We cannot risk sending Azeroth's leaders on what might well be a suicide mission. Our friends who were abducted would offer the same counsel. Coward! I would pay any price to see the Banshee impaled upon my glaive. I, too, want Sylvanas to answer for her crimes. But Lorthamar is right. Anduin wouldn't want us to risk the well-being of the Alliance for his sake. We will face whatever comes. A chilling summons. It is good that you have arrived. We need heroes like you in this dire hour. When Sylvanas shattered the Helm of Domination, she was touched by the power it released. I can sense the echoes of that power, and I know where she has gone. If you wish to rescue your leaders, the Shattered Helm can open a path. It cannot bring you back, however. That you must do on your own. The risk is great, but there is no other way. We will begin the ritual at once. When the Banshee shattered the Helm, it tore a gaping through the veil between our world and the Shadowlands. During my vigil upon the Frozen Throne, I caught fleeting glimpses 
into the realms of death. Among them, I saw a place of inescapable darkness. That is where you must go, if you are to save those Sylvanus has taken. Together, we can open the way. Place the Shards of Domination around the Circle of Runes. Then the ritual can begin. Alright, one thing I am going to do in the settings is I'm going to turn the dialogue volume up just a little bit. When the hell rested upon my head, it took all my will to keep its insidious power in check. Many times, I nearly faltered. I could sense a dark presence at the edge of my consciousness. Not Arthas, not Nezul. Something else. I dare not travel with you. Even free of the helm, I fear I would become bound to the will of its true master. But this threat cannot be left unchecked. Therefore you must venture where I cannot. The dangers you face will be considerable. Alone, you may well be outmatched. To aid in this task, the Knights of the Ebon Blade shall lend you their strength. Darian Mograin has volunteered to fight at your side. Living mortals were never intended to cross beyond the Veil. Where you are going, you may be unable to return. But there is no other course. Death comes to claim Azeroth. It falls to you to defend her. The time has come. Take up the Shattered Helm. And the path opens. Your courage will be remembered, champion. Aldiel Shalar. Find those who were taken and bring them home. Rescue the others. The Banshee is mine to kill. Tyrande, don't do this. Tor Ilisar Ferenol! We cannot lose you to the darkness. Through the rift. Good. I doubt this mission could succeed without you. No sign yet of the High Priestess. Perhaps she charged ahead into the chaos. We know much. She is kind of on a warpath, so she probably did just that. Through the shattered sky. Not the most ideal of arrivals, but at least we are still in one piece. I have not seen any sign of Tarande. Either she landed elsewhere or continued on without us. We should keep an eye out. A fractured blade. The chaotic energies of this place have scattered the Ebon Blade. I don't think Azeroth's blessings will reach you here, Paladin. We will need allies if we are to survive this place. We should find them quickly, before they are overcome. The Knights of the Ebon Blade will not falter. Mossworn Menace. Our knights are strong, but they don't stand much chance scattered against such an opponent. We need to thin the ranks of our foe. The Ebon Blade won't do us any good if they are cut down. We will see it through to the bitter end. Alright, so we're freeing Fight guys and defeating we'll guys. I don't have a target. Make it quick. 
Oh, and look at this. We can now get rid of our Azerite ability. I guess it just oh, it goes to a level 100 item. That's interesting. That frees up a good keybind. Regroup with your fellow knights. We will not be far behind. Could probably stand to turn the music up a little bit. Uh, maybe that's good right there. You guys let me know how the sound volumes are so we can get that maximized. Establishing a forward position. Go. Make sure we hold it. <sighs> yes. One of the larger fiends has several of our knights engaged. Hurry to their aid, lest we lose more of our dwindling forces. Go. It is too late for me. We've been in this place mere moments, and already our forces are depleted. It will have to do. Take this horn. It can be used to call upon the remaining Ebon Blade forces to rally against your foes. This clarion will signal the Ebon Blade to converge on your foe. Use it wisely. Our enemy is relentless, but we will continue to drive them back. We must forge our own destiny. And that's right, we cannot mount up in the mall at all right now. We have no ability to mount land or flying. So we're hoping... could have used the horn on that guy that could, could have helped us out a little bit let's get moving before reinforcements arrive yeah don't mind us guys we've got this go ahead run along without us it's okay we've got this weird maw bear thing For 
for us there is no peace, no rest. I am loath to leave some of our knights behind, but it is obvious we cannot stand against such foes. We must make sure that their sacrifices are not in vain. It appears we've escaped our enemy's notice for the moment. We should take the opportunity to scout the nearby area for signs of our allies. We will draw less attention alone. The Ebon Blade will hold back, awaiting my signal. Come, let us see what awaits us in this hellscape. A shadow of hope. We are vastly outnumbered. Let's try not to draw unwanted attention. Keep an eye out for clues that point to the whereabouts of our allies. Says the first clue is directly behind us, and yeah, it is, it looks Frost like. magic. Looks like the work of our friend, the Lord Admiral. The conflict seems to move in this direction. We should follow the trail before it grows... cold. More of Lady Proudmoore's handiwork. It would be unwise to break the enchantment. Let's move along. I'm assuming we want to avoid these uh, amazing looking void maw energy creatures. Uh, possibly walking right under it. Not a good idea. Maybe we can just sneak behind it. Um, yep, yeah, we're okay. Oh shit, no we're not okay. Note to self, just because we're in the stealth posture does not mean that we are in stealth. The Lord Admiral is truly formidable. To have bested one of these monstrosities. Hold! What's that up ahead? Lady Proudmoor! Looks like we've secured the Lord Admiral. I'll signal the Ebon Blade to advance. Thank the light you found us. I will do what I can. Praise the light, I'd almost given up hope. Jaina looks upon the Ebon Blade Knights. Is this all that remains of your forces? It's a relief to see friendly faces again, but we have little time for pleasantries. Thrall is wounded, and we are being hunted by denizens of this realm. We must seek shelter at once. Come, I believe I know of a place. We all have our ghosts. We can't stay here. Can you walk, Thrall? I... will manage. Thank you for coming to my aid, Jaina. Something's flying at us from above! They found us! Be ready! Struggle all you like, mortals. You cannot escape your fate! behind to keep them distracted. The illusion won't hold for long. Hurry! What would you ask the Daughter of the Sea? Those images will keep our foes distracted for a time, but they will not give up their pursuit so easily. We must make haste. The Alliance will There's a cave endure. not far from here. If we hurry, we can seek refuge. Those fiends will give chase if they spot us. Be prepared for a fight. Control your power, or it will control you. 
There's a cave just around the bend. With any luck, we can reach it before they notice. Let's hope so. Our captors won't be pleased you managed to slip past them again. You will not evade our grasp, mortals. Well, there goes our luck. Knights, secure the cave! We'll hold off these fiends! So much for remaining unnoticed. Let's hurry. What did Brawl mean by slip past them again? We've escaped before. Indeed. I've broken free countless times, only to end up back in a cage. I've hidden inside this cave before. We can't stay long, but it should buy us a little time. Another ambush! Bring them down! Before we found you, did you see any sign of the Night Lord? Taranda? Here? No, I have not. She leapt into the rift just ahead of us. She vowed to find Sylvanas Windrunner. At any cost. That is troubling. An ancient ritual infused her with incredible power. I fear it may be growing beyond her ability to contain it. Your cell awaits, mage. The Jailer has plans for you. I've had enough of your cages, fiend. There is nowhere to run. Nothing escapes the maw. I love that Thrall is still tanking, even though he's wounded. What a true warrior. You will all end up in chains. Not if we end you first. It is useless to resist. In here. <sighs> We should be safe enough here for the moment. When you first arrived, I wasn't sure if you were even real, or if you were just another illusion meant to torment us. I was beginning to lose hope that I'd see anyone from our world again. The time for dreaming is over. Be careful who you trust. Anduin insisted that our allies would come for us. I confess I had begun to doubt him. I'm sure you have many questions. I'll do what I can to provide answers, but I'm afraid even after... What has it been? Weeks? Longer? Time loses all meaning in a place of such darkness. Forgive me. Let me tell you what little I can. A single spark can set the world aflame. Very well. Where to begin? Denizens call this realm the Maw. From what I have gathered, it was intended as a prison for the most foul, irredeemable souls that ever existed. Something has changed. Pure, noble souls are being held captive here as well. They cry out in torment. Indeed. And one of their tormentors, and ours, is Sylvanas Windrunner. It seems she has made a powerful ally. The Shades whisper of someone called... The Jailer. I will never forget. The Jailer rules this realm. We know little about him, but it's clear he has taken a special interest in us. He has personally overseen our... treatment here. 
We have endured countless torments. At times, it felt as if we were being tested. Though for what purpose, I cannot say. Whatever this Jailer and the Banshee are planning, it won't end well for any of us. I caught glimpses of Bane and Anduin during my attempts to break free. They live. That's all I know for certain. But I have found no means of leaving them all. I can only manage to teleport short distances. This nightmare feels... inescapable. Countless souls are now pouring into this realm. Some have been here for untold ages. Perhaps one of them knows a way out. I can scarcely imagine the horror such spirits have endured. I fear there's nothing left of them to save. They manifest as malevolent shades that wander the darkness. I doubt they'd willingly help us. Knights of the Ebon Blade have ways to compel the dead to speak. If we seize one of them, we can extract its secrets. So a little note, this is launch night that we are playing here, so I expect it to get pretty crowded eventually, uh, if it's not already. And we might experience things like lag and whatnot, so we'll see. So far it took about uh, a couple hours for the servers to be up and stable, but they seem to be good so far, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. We cannot let the world fall to darkness. I need time to recover after that battle. Thrall could use rest too. While we rest, perhaps you and Morgrain could seek answers. I know what must be done. We are driven by a single purpose, retribution. If these souls have information we need, we will take it from them. Even after being shattered by the Banshee, the Helm Fragment given to you by Bolvar holds the power of domination. With it, we should be able to take control of the spirits long enough to find out what they know. They will need to be sufficiently weakened before we can break them. I'm confident you're more than capable of that task. We are eternal. We are unyielding. There was a little bit of lag, accepting that quest. <laughs> Speaking of lag. I guess he didn't say anything we already didn't know. I guess we could take this thing on, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. For some reason it's not a valid target, maybe because this other player tagged it? I don't know, that's a little bit weird. Let's go fight something that's not an elite. I can't attack that target. I 
can't attack that target. At last! The true! Yeah, I guess we're doing some of these guys a favor by ending their existence. I can't imagine an eternity in the Maw is something that is preferable. Useless. These souls are far too fragmented to provide us with anything. Wait, what is that? Look over to the ridge. There lies our quarry. No telling how many souls are writhing together within that amalgam. With any luck, one of them might be coherent enough to give us answers. So that's the elite. <laughs> we didn't need him then. We need him now. Which is why we couldn't click on him before, for right? Assistance once we engage it. Blade to me. Oh yeah, we can't we can't summon them for 33 more seconds, so hopefully he's got this one. Use the helm while it's weakened. Find enough mouths and one of them is bound to speak. Let's bring this thing back to the cave and find out what it knows. My instincts were correct. Whatever dark magic binds these souls together also keeps them more or less coherent. It will take time, but we will find out what this thing knows. My interrogation will require use of the helm, but rest assured I will return it to your care. We must you're coming with us! We, we pulled cute little maw bunnies. Or maw rat. <laughs> we pulled some maw rats. Speak the true me. battle lies ahead. No hope! No! Control mercy. your power, or it will control you. Alright, so Darian's working on it. Let's talk to Jaina then. The way forward will not be easy. Anduin is being kept in a place the Shades call Tremoculum. It's not far, but the way is perilous. I have tried more than once to free him from his captors, but the forces holding him are too great for me to handle alone. I'm counting on your presence to tip the scales. A single spark can set the world aflame. Speak your peace. Once we find Anduin, my staff will serve as an anchor for me to teleport us down to safety. All set. Let's get moving. I'd feel better about this if Thrall didn't look like he was still uh, favoring some of his ribs there. He doesn't look like he's quite healed up yet. Unfortunately, we don't have a priest with us. I mean, we could heal him, technically. No we'll just assume that he's slowly on the mend. It's so awesome that they fight with us. I love it.
It looks like there's a bridge we need to get to up here that's going to kind of cross over some kind of canyon or gap. Don't stand on the holes, even for a nice photo opportunity. Don't stand in the holes. They did a decent amount of damage. This is the Tremaculum. Here, souls are tormented, twisted into wretched chains. Last I saw Anduin, they were taking him to the tower above. We need to find a way up there. I love the look of these Maw enemies, and I love how Dark Souls ask some of the melee and, and bowmen are, and I love the look of these warlocks, or soul renders as they're called as well. Very cool looking. These guys just remind me of like archers in a Dark Souls game. Which is a good thing. Here. Anduin. Sylvanas, what does she want with him? A long road lies before us. Sylvanas has the Jailer's forces at her command. She could call them down to overwhelm us. It won't do Anduin any good if we're all captured. Let's hold off on engaging her until we know what she's after. You won't succeed. Such a narrow vision. You disappoint me. No matter. We will find what we seek. In a man. Anduin! How badly are you hurt? I will live. I'm relieved you're all safe. These bonds are too strong to break by force. We must find a way to free him. Such narrow vision, we will find what we seek in another. It's almost like she was trying to convince Anduin to help her and the Jailer in some way. A just cause is always worth fighting for. I knew it in my heart the light wouldn't fail us. Your presence is the proof. Sylvanas thinks us broken. She believes she has already won. We will show her how mistaken she is. First, I will need your help. The bonds that hold me are impossibly strong. We will need the key to free me of them. My imprisonment here has been overseen by a creature they call the Afflictor. The key is likely in its possession. I have seen many souls brought here during my detention. The Jailer seems to want to break them, to twist them into his service, or worse. No soul deserves such a fate. The Maw Sworn here hold the keys to their chains. Free as many as you can, and we'll get them away from here. Never lose hope. I need a target. I'm out of range. Oh. 
Find the cave on the other side of the chasm. Our allies will protect you there. Guess we should at least clear every platform that we can. It's too far away. They worry me a little bit when they decide to walk right on where the spikes come up. Ebonblade forces are positioned nearby. They will defend you. Well, I guess we're out of keys. We need to find some more targets here. These guys should do if we I'm can get in there. Range. something first. It's too far away. I need to get closer. I don't have a target. I think the Afflictor is up top. He's the one we need Anduin's key from, but uh, he is up top somewhere and he just got defeated. Any minute now, I'm sure we'll get some respawns. Here we go. You might have a key. I'm out of range. But then again, maybe you don't. It's too far away. are broken. Hurry, before the guards return. I need to target something first. So I guess we're looking for a teleporter or something to take us back up top. Or, or maybe even just a staircase could do it. I need 
need to get closer. Thank you, Champion. I feared I would never be free of those shackles. We should move quickly. Are you fit to travel? I will be fine once this place is behind us. Lead on. I had almost forgotten the feeling of freedom. Now let us take the fight to these fiends. I knew I could trust you with this task. Though we face insurmountable odds, we must try to do what is right. I cannot express my gratitude enough for your help, Champion. We mustn't linger, however. The Jailer's forces will soon be alerted to the disturbance here. Let us leave this place at once. How are you? Be my vigilant. ability to teleport is limited here. But I should be able to open a portal back to my staff's location. Those wounds look serious, Thrall. Let me tend them. Thank you, Anduin. Oh, so Anduin can It'll heal feel him. Good to be back but we at can't. Full strength. <laughs> well, he's he's probably better with the light than we are. That's true. All is not lost. Not even our friend has something to share. We are eternal. Speak. How do we leave this place? Futile! The path sealed long ago! So there is a way out. Tell us where to find it. The waste home! Got the cauldron! That's what we keep hearing. Could you make sense of what it said, Lord Admiral? In the cauldron it spoke of lies beyond the River of Souls. I believe Bane is being held captive there. Then it seems our course is clear. For us there is no peace, no rest. I cannot say I enjoyed wielding the Helm of Domination. The magic it holds is unsettling to the dead. I gladly return it to your care. We will see it through to the better end. We cannot what would leave you these innocent souls alone to their fate. Our remaining forces will remain on guard here. Signal us when you find this waystone. The true battle lies ahead. Our next step is clear. We must travel to Zoval's Cauldron, a frightful place I have heard spoken of in fanatical whispers. It's a forge of sorts that lies across the River of Souls. I have only been there a handful of times, but I have seen Bane held captive by the soldiers there. If fortune favors us, he'll still be nearby. Once he's safe, 
We can see about finding this waystone the Shade spoke of. Be careful who you trust. You're troubled, Thrall. What is it? Still no sign of Tyrande. We cannot leave her alone in this nightmare. Agreed. But we have no idea how to find her. We will do our best. But this waystone may be our only means of escape. If there's a way out of the Maw, then there has to be a way back in. We will return for her. I need to target something first. Sometimes we must fight for what we believe in. I don't have a target. The way forward will not be easy. Hold! I hear something stirring. Your wretched souls will feed the coming darkness! Wretched? I heard you were soundly beaten by a force of wretched champions, which... You will pay for that insult! The skies of your world will be darkened by the wings of my Morsworn! For Azeroth! Ah! Drown! Drown among the souls of the damned! It's like he just throws his little toy sword at her head. <laughs> ah! Or axe, what rather. What is this madness? This sound! It's unbearable! Now he'll need a new axe. Keep moving! And she's, if anything, which probably just mildly annoyed. Look! On the precipice above! Is that... The Jailer. He has Bane. Yes, he does seem to be clutching a little furry squirming thing that, that looks like it has Bane's uh, crest of feathers. It looks like it could be it could be a Bane-shaped object. The time for dreaming. From way down here. The jailer has Bane. This is worse than we feared. I know. So, Bane is unworthy, and now he has two broken legs, or hooves, rather. Even as Bane's flesh mends, his spirit draws closer to death. I have seen dark magic like this before, among the Shadowmoon clan. The Jailer's minions must have inflicted a similar malady upon Bane. The only cure for Shadowmoon's curse was to find the object they used to poison the spirit and shatter it. The sorcerers of this realm wield ornamental daggers. That might be what we're looking for. We must find the one they used on Bane quickly. Seems like a, a needle in a haystack kind of deal. Well met. Ah, uh, but we'll look. And then a good axe. I was a damn fool for throwing my axe at that sea hag. We can't afford to lose focus. The battle ahead won't be easy. I'll need another weapon to help us fight to the Waystone. Looks like these soldiers have plenty of armaments. Let's keep an eye out for one I can use. Let honor guide your path.
a crossbow? <laughs> I'd prefer to strike my enemies face to face. I suppose it's got heft to it. Let's see what else we can find, though. I've never been one for staves, but at least it won't break in a melee. Let's keep looking. He whines about it and complains, but at least he actually equips it for the moment. That's, that's nice to see. He's willing to use at least whatever he can get, even if he's going to complain the entire time we search. A serviceable weapon, though I've never understood why the Alliance seems so fixated with swords. Hmm. Too much blade. Not enough. Haft. Hmm. Too long a handle. Better than nothing, I suppose. Let's take one more look. It's too far away. I need a target. I'm out of range. At last, a proper warrior's weapon. If the Jailer comes, he will taste my steel. This lacks the balance and craftsmanship of a good Frostwolf axe, but it will have to do. Let's get moving. Together, we are strong. I need to get closer. It's too far. This must be the dagger. Bane's blood still stains its blade. We were fortunate to find the sorcerer who poisoned Bane's spirit. I will need your help breaking its link to the High Chieftain. Now that we have the dagger, it will take the combined will of all of us to sever the weapon's link to the High Chieftain. Jaina, Anduin, and I must do our part to keep Bane's spirit grounded. So it will be up to you to deal with whatever force is unleashed when the blade is broken. Are you up to this task? For Azeroth. I think we are, yeah. I mean, we're two-thirds of the way to level 51, so... Oh, they've already... they've started without us. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, here's the withering presence. We skipped the part where we placed it because it looks like another player started the event. Hold which on, is not ideal. Do not let the jailer take you. It's not ideal, but I guess it's fine. I think he's coming too. Hopefully hey, we didn't miss much dialogue. Oh, I, I thought my end had come. It almost did, were it not for this champion. Then you have my eternal gratitude, hero. We fight when we must. Were it not for your Azeroth. efforts, I am certain my body and soul would be trapped in this forsaken place for eternity. I owe you my life, and I will fight to my last breath to repay this debt. Without I wish honor, we had more time for you to recover, but we need to move. Understood. Lead the way. We cannot let the world fall to darkness. We must move quickly if we wish to find the Waystone. The soul mentioned it, it overlooks the cauldron, which would put it somewhere upon the ridge on the other side. Unfortunately, this area is swarming with enemy forces. We'd best avoid engaging them, lest we draw the Jailer's attention. I can shield us from sight, but we all have to stay together. I will never forget. We seek a waystone located beyond the cauldron. Have you seen it? I spotted an obelisk of ancient stone upon the high ridge. It did not seem important, 
The jailer's forces pay it little heed. What do you think it is? Our way out of here, we hope. A long road lies before us. <sighs> the jailer's forces seem endless. There is no way we can fight through them all. Jaina, can you hide us from their sight? My spell will get us past most of his guards, but there will likely be some who can see through it. Stay close. We can't afford to draw their attention. Hold here. Careful. These eyes can see through my spell. The size of the Jailer's army rivals the size of the Jailer's army rivals that of the Legion. And it's growing larger. So many souls pouring into the Maw. The dead of Azeroth, Draenor, worlds beyond our imagination, all damned to this place. Hold here. To be forged into weapons for the Jailer. Despite all Sylvanas has done, I never thought she'd be part of something like this. Well, Thrall, there may be reasons that we don't quite know about yet. That is a big question, isn't it? Why has Sylvanas done all of this? What does it mean that our world is a prison? So many questions that we'll hopefully have answers to in the coming days and weeks. Look, on the platform ahead, that must be the Waystone. We need to reach it before the Jailer takes notice. Waystone was said to be dormant, yet it seems to be reacting to our presence. I can't find a way to activate it. I don't think the stone is responding to us. I think it's responding to this champion. That's right. It is. Let us click it. Or you could all disappear and reappear eerily. Greetings, friend. We made it. If we can activate this waystone, we just might be able to escape this place. Anduid examines the obelisk intently. I've never seen markings like these before. I've studied Titan artifacts, but this appears to be made by a different hand. Hmm. It doesn't respond to me. I think Jane is right. The waystone is reacting to your presence. Perhaps you'll have better luck activating it. Stay on your guard. Jailer's forces paid this no mind when it was dormant. But there's no telling what they'll do if that changes. Victory when the Jailer the realizes our plan, he'll send all his forces against us. Our only chance is to keep them at bay long enough for the Waystone to fully charge. Every second counts. So, fight a bunch of waves. Oh. Responding to a mortal? Impossible! Mortal! Take them! Charging! Forces are fast. 
Endless. We have stopped endless armies before. We will never I'm yield. To target something. I don't have a target. It's nearly charged. Do not falter. Something's wrong. It seems the Waystone has stopped charging. The stone responds to you, champion. Try to activate it while we hold off the Jailer's army. Thought we were already doing that plan, but okay. The Waystone appears to be waiting for something. You reach out and touch its surface. Nothing escapes the law. To the inevitable. They've stopped their advance. The light is with me, even here. Champion, go! Anduin's power is uh, growing a little bit there. He was able to hold off the forces of the Jailer, and now the Jailer thinks that he has exactly what he needs. Is he talking about Anduin? An agent of the Maw is attacking Oribos. Defend the Arbiter! Everybody just oh, calm down. The Maw's power does linger upon them, but I sense... No, that cannot be possible! You arrive alone at the precipice of a strange city, knowing the leaders of Azeroth remain trapped in the Maw. Wherever you are, it is very, it is clearly very, very far from home. It appears your arrival has been noticed. The purpose reveals our way. We must bring them to the Overseers at once. Come with us, stranger. So welcome guys to Oribos. This will be our home city. Well, our main city. We'll have a home within our covenant as well. But that'll be more like an order hall. And this will be our main city where all of our profession trainers and everything will be at. The reports from our scryers were unmistakable. The Maw shuddered for a moment, as if reacting to some change. An ill-omen to be certain. What can it mean? Overseers, this stranger appeared at the city's edge. I believe them to be a living mortal. Another unexpected development. We shall see to their reception. The purpose brought you to us. Trust the purpose. How may I aid you, mortal? Could it be an actual mortal being in the Eternal City? The purpose be served. 
We all have a part to play. A living mortal. Incredible. Forgive my astonishment. I am Ka Delen, an overseer of the Arbiter's attendance here in the Eternal City of Oribos. You stand within the heart of the Shadowlands. While we are accustomed to receiving souls from all manner of worlds within the mortal realm, never before has one arrived that is quite so... corporeal. Answer honestly, mortal. Did you truly escape the Maw? Blessed be her voice. Yes, we did. Every attendant in Oribos is taught that the Maw is unpreachable. That the malevolent souls within were sealed away for all eternity. This mortal's escape might mean the prison is weakening. If true, the banished one could... Cardelen! Cosher! Herbis be praised! At long last, the Arbiter has stirred. Wondrous news, honored voice. Mere moments ago, there was a disturbance at the boundary of the moor. Then this mortal appeared, claiming to have broken free of it. A living mortal? Surely their presence here serves the purpose. If the Arbiter reacted to their arrival, perhaps they are the key to waking her. Is this mortal worthy of such an audience? They may prove to be an agent of the Jailer. It is the Arbiter's place to judge souls, Kasher, not ours. I will bring this mortal before her. With her voice have I spoken. Blessed be her voice. Blessed be her voice. All right, so who are all these guys? Ka Cher and Ka Delen are both the will of the Arbiter, and Talanara here is the honored voice, uh, which seems to be the speaker Come for the Arbiter when they can't speak on their own, if they ever speak on their own to anybody, that is. Finally, the purpose may be guiding us again. I will consider your words. I am Talanara, honored voice of the Arbiter. I speak for she who is ever silent. The Arbiter watches over Oribos. She blesses us with her wisdom. Every mortal soul that enters Shadowlands passes before her for judgment. In the merest fraction of a moment, she sees every glory, every folly, every joy, every regret. With this knowledge, she chooses an ideal afterlife for that soul. At least, she did. Not long ago, catastrophe struck and... Come, some things are better seen than explained. Blessed be her voice. Okay, we will definitely join you to see what has happened to the Arbiter. One day, she will... I pray the Arbiter will awaken in your presence, mortal. Okay, that was a cool way to hide what was maybe a quick loading screen. That's a new effect that they haven't used in WoW before. What might your purpose be? And there is the Arbiter. Oh will be judged fairly. She definitely appears to be offline or in some kind of uh, stasis. Well, let's see what we can find out. Hear the words of the Arbiter. She is unchanged, ever silent, ever still. When you arrived in Oribos, I saw the Arbiter stir. For the first time in many cycles, it gave me hope that she would awaken and resume her blessed purpose. Mere words cannot describe the glory that was. Step forward, that I may show you. For uncounted eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives, with Oribos, the Eternal City, as the Shining Heart.
Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter. And she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... In that dread moment, our perfect order was shattered. And so it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Now souls rich with anima travel only to the Maw. We have tried everything to stop it. To awaken our blessed Arbiter. To no avail. Without Anima, drought has gripped the Shadowlands. The afterlives have grown isolated. Fear and uncertainty haunt us all. With countless souls feeding the Jailer, I fear he may grow strong enough to break free from the Maw. It is said he is filled with hatred for the Arbiter. If he strikes her down, it would bring the end of everything the First Ones made. Return to the lower levels, the Overseers will prepare you for what is to come. Alright, so that definitely looked like some kind of intentional strike from the Maw on the Arbiter that kind of put her into this stasis mode now. I think this is going to be a good place for us to take a little bit of a break, and when we come back we will head downstairs, and we'll get familiar with Orbos hopefully, maybe find the trainers before seeing what we need to do next. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate all the support. I hope you're having a good time. Let me know what you think about Shadowlands so far. Let me know your own experiences while playing the game if you are in fact back for the expansion. Till next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And we will see you back in the Shadowlands soon. Bye now.